But we are here today to honor our regional meeting, in particular the media that has supported the campfire program for 17 long years. I ain't lie to take it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say that they have supported me for 17 long years. And I am in a position to talk about the power of the media. I learned this at a very young age when I was a senior in high school. Another guy and I decided to paint the tallest water tower in the tank. But we weren't going to put our initials or anything. We went, he was a sign painter, and I was a plotter. And we climbed that water tower in the dark of the night between the rounds of the guards. We had it planned down like a bank robbery. And we got up there, and we, he painted. I painted just enough to say I painted part of it. He painted the word Zorro, complete with the swoop to do at the end and all the things that Zorro stood for back then. In the meantime, half the senior class was going up and down the road by the water tower, honking their horns. Which kind of word does? But we came down after the next round of the guard, and we went. Well, I found out years later that Dixie Paint and Varnish, the people that owned that water tower, it was by their company. And they wanted to be, by the way, here's where I want to point out about the power of the meeting. They wanted to prosecute me for painting that, that sign and ruining the whole thing. And thank goodness, Bootsy Carson's daddy, who was the claims adjuster with the insurance company, said, I wouldn't do that. That won't get you any good press. What you ought to do is publicize it and get your name in the, in the media all over the country. And they did. And I mean, it was on TV programs, it was on Associated Press. And it was so big that my mother and daddy finally found out who did it. <laughs> <laughs> now, when they were running up and down tipping their horns, I was a hero of the senior class. But I think officially I'm still brown. <laughs> Not only was I not a hero at future events, I wasn't at them. <laughs> and I found out something like 30 years later that my daddy thought it was kind of funny. <laughs> And, uh, and they never told me that. <laughs> we are here to thank the people and appreciate and honor and honor. The people who have, I think, we could not have made the campfire program the success it has been without these people. I really doubt that we could have done it at all without these people. Because this is what happens in this country before we honor those particular people. And they have given us tens of thousands of dollars worth of space and worth of broadcast time. Absolutely free. And even if we'd gone off and bought ads for that amount, it would not have been worth the same because you can't buy an ad on the Vince page, under the neighbor page, on those other pages, across from the editorial page or on the air. And A.J., by the way, I've got to tell you all that she did something particularly good, brave for us, brave for me, but brave for her. But my particular good foot point, she actually put me on the air. <laughs> Once. <laughs> After that, she read the heads. <laughs> but we are here to honor them. But first, I want to talk about the media in general. I am absolutely convinced, we cuss the media, and we fuss about the media, and we want this one or that one put out of business. But you know, I really do believe that this country couldn't be what it is without the media, and without the guarantee that we would have a media that operated freely. And several things that the media does, the value of the media is tied up in two or three things. My daddy put it better than anything else, anybody I've ever seen yet, he said, without the media, or with the media, it's a lot harder to lie, cheat, steal, rape, pillage, and plunder. He never said it was impossible, he just said it was harder. And I think that's absolute truth. The media that we have is competitive, and that's good. You know, you not only will get CNN side of it, but you'll get Fox News' side of it. And there's a few others in there that take sides. 
And that's good. In fact, sometimes I get stuff from my other conservative friends that's just hard to believe. And sometimes I don't believe it. I've got the theory that if Fox doesn't find out and cover it, it probably is true. Now, I won't talk about CNN because I've made somebody mad. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing that we don't really appreciate in this country, we talk about is advertising worth it. How many of y'all ever heard that argument? Or does it just raise the price of the product? <coughs> in many cases, it makes it possible to start a company, to invent the product, to develop the product. Why is that? Because the people working on ideas like that know that it cannot be successful if they can promote it <coughs> and do what we sometimes, for lack of a better word, call exploit. And right now, I'll give you an example. Sonny's working on a particular invention. <coughs> That's not news. Sonny's always working on an invention. But he couldn't, I know that he couldn't afford to even develop it, put the money in, it's a putter. And Sonny says, if you got that putter, you can't miss the hole. <laughs> now, let's say that's true. Sonny's watching the car, <coughs> maybe he didn't want to speak quote that. But let's say it's true, he's got a putter that you can't miss his putting shot with. That's not worth a dime unless he can tell the public. On the media, when I got this job, and they say, you're in charge of media. So the campfire program, I, I knew what that meant. That meant I was going to have to push and shove and argue and make, you know, try to embarrass people into helping us. That was the dangest thing I've ever seen. Everybody I contacted just, oh, yes. Nobody argued. Nobody resisted. I didn't have to put any high-pressure sales on anybody. And they all cooperated without a single exception. And it has just been absolutely around. We've got two of the people here, and I want y'all to know that many groups give a certificate suitable for framing. Now, AJ and Keila, I want y'all to know that we're going to, you're going to get a frame. <laughs> <laughs>